what's up youtube family welcome to another video another reading thank you guys so much for supporting my last reading all right y'all are going up on that um i'm really happy about that because my videos haven't been doing so good so thank you to the new subscribers and for the likes and for the love on my last video um this is going to be another all signs so all signs will get done watch whatever placement you're most resonating with okay so you can watch multiple placements and get a different perspective um i hope the re reading does resonate with you but if it doesn't that it's not your reading okay so the timestamps will be in the description box and i'll try to get them to the uh comment section as well be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel sorry for this thing being in the way it's my um what do you call it i don't know my phone is holding this up i am on live as well um follow me on tiktok at evolution of athena go subscribe to my youtube at evolution of athena the link is in my bio um i think that is it that i have to tell you guys so we're gonna get started with scorpio <clears throat> all right this is gonna be what you need to know right now insight clarity and guidance into your life this is good for all placements all right so scorpio Ooh, let me get the timestamp for scorpio 144 Ooh. so 144 could be a significant number for you scorpio if you know you know all right scorpio let's see tell me about scorpio what does scorpio need to know right now what does scorpio need to know right now good vibes only honestly i don't have time for any trolls but i'll just block you before you block me how about that five of pentacles coming out um five of pentacles is crowning your reading scorpio so let's get some more cards to get a fuller picture nine of cups Ooh, the empress Ooh, oh my gosh scorpio look at these cards uh queen of swords reversed as the shadow card oh my gosh this is very rare honestly this combo right here very rare very rare and then we have the nine of cups with it too what what is this your wish is coming true wish fulfillment this is not a little wish this is a big wish a big manifestation your dreams are coming true your dream life is coming to fruition it is here you just have to tap into that frequency get on that frequency okay <coughs> so the shadow card being the queen of swords reverse is telling me that you know you could be not really listening to your boundaries here so that could be a blockage for you you're only a thought away you're only a step away from what you want make sure that you are cutting out things that are no longer serving you i feel like we could be hearing this a lot but i mean obviously it's for a reason so is there a person you need to cut out is it a thought process you know a certain type of energy or environment that's no longer serving you that's keeping you limited and in a lack mentality right you need to cut that off so that you can receive because a new timeline is awaiting you but you may be in an uncomfortable position at this time and i feel like it's because like you're you're um you're folding on yourself or it's like you're folding on your boundaries so make sure you are sticking to your boundaries that is a message here and you're going to get everything that you want when you stand by your boundaries it's really that simple it's really that simple this is a really good reading scorpio so i mean just do do exactly what i'm saying and you're gonna get what you want there's no if ands or buts about it so we're gonna clarify these cards Libra Taurus 
Aries energy here. All right, let's clarify a little bit for Scorpio. We have, oh my gosh! Not only do we have a true pair here, Empress to Emperor, but now we have the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords on the board. The Queen of Swords is in reverse though, so like I said, I already am feeling like this is you, this Queen of Swords. You may not be, you know, you, you may be f like, how do I say? Not being honest with yourself, okay? In regards to a relationship with this king of swords don't let someone like override you you have power you need to be respected as well okay so five of pentacles king of swords you may need to cut off somebody you may need to cut off somebody for somebody new to come through okay and if that's you if you're being asked to cut off somebody trust that the new person is so 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 much better than whoever you're leaving behind all right look at this you know um the new person that's going to come into your life they're not going to make you feel bad and you know what this might be the same person like the new person might be the same person but it's going to be new because they've leveled up and you guys have both leveled up okay but you are still needing to unattach from them so that you can go through this transformation this rebirth and so things so that things can align so that you can heal so that they can heal and so that things can come together um you know in the best healthiest way this could be your twin I'm going to pull some oracle for you and that's going to be your reading Scorpio very good reading um you know you just need to act as the highest version of yourself this is not time to think small or to go back to the old version of yourself you really need to boss up and act as the highest version of yourself I wanted to use certain a certain oracle deck I forgot which one I wanted to use though I wanted to use the astrology one and uh, I don't know which one the other one was. A lot of chills when you said twin. Well, that's good. I mean, we have the four of wands, we have empress to emperor, and then the main thing, I already was thinking that when I said 144 at the beginning of the reading. So, definitely. <clears throat> if that resonates with you then it's for you big Virgo energy here with the hermit all right you know what you want and I feel like you know how to get it so just do it we have opposition imbalance a point of tension and a power struggle so you could feel a little bit imbalanced at this time and you know exactly what you need to do in order to get balanced right there's a person here that's um, making you feel imbalanced. We have Goddess of Justice coming out. Excuse me. What seems an injustice is actually a blessing. You releasing this person may feel like, fuck, I don't want to release this person. This is not the right thing because they could be a twin. So, um, but it's actually a blessing because you're going to level up. They're going to level up and it's going to be the best thing for everybody. All right. So drop your sign in the chat. Let's go to the next sign. <coughs> Let me know if that resonated, resonated with you, Scorpio. Leo. Like the live for me, you guys. Double tap that screen. Definitely for me. You're awesome. Love and light to you. All right, we're gonna move on to Leo. 
at 10 minutes so the number 10 could be significant for you leo i love the number 10 it is my number okay it's giving will of fortune energy is giving all the things that you want all right major completions here major completions a renewal all right a new time a new timeline so let's see tell me about leo what does leo need to know right now at this moment seven of cups reversed so can be kind of like confusing could be kind of like in a daze with this energy needing to master your emotions here we have the ace of pentacles reversed confused about something that didn't work out okay a missed opportunity high priestess ooh pisces capricorn energy High Priestess, double reversed, and then we have the King of Wands as the Shadow card. So, well, the King of Wands is your energy, but I don't really feel like that's you. It could be, but I feel like that's someone that you're dealing with, the King of Wands. So you could be dealing with another fire sign. Um, well... We're just going to clarify because I don't have time to be hurting my brain trying to figure this out. So let's see. Look at this. The lovers reverse. Gemini energy clarifying the seven of cups reversed. So you could be, I'm seeing like an unattachment energy. You could be unattaching from someone who, I mean, they could definitely be a strong soulmate here, but there could also be other people in the mix. So you don't want to be treated like an option. So you're, you know, taking your power back and doing what's best for you and attaching from the situation. I'm seeing you're really connected to spirit here. Your intuition is on 10. Your intuition is on point. All right, listen to your intuition. All right, the veil is thin for you. You can, you have the answers. You can intuitively get the answers yourself from source. So continue to connect to God and everything will be clear for you. All right, but I am seeing a separation energy here. So nine of cups reverse, definitely someone playing games in the past. We don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. More separation energy confirming. Um, um, oof. I feel like you're trying to kind of go with the flow with this person or with this energy or like you're trying to unattach but at the same time you're still like having an open mind with keeping this person in your energy i don't know if that's the best mindset because with this energy it's just kind of like nothing's really happening here it's, nothing's really happening all i'm seeing is really unhappiness i don't feel like you're that happy right now I don't feel like you're really fulfilled or satisfied. So I do think the advice here is best for you to really unattach from this person. Really know what that means. Not fake unattached, not halfway unattached, but fully release yourself from this person. Live your best life. Really take back your power. Really be in this high priestess energy. It's a very, very powerful energy here. Okay. After the high priestess is the empress, then the emperor is just you know it's only up from here but you need to release someone that's not really serving you lower vibrational energy you know you need to set these boundaries so that you can catch your blessings all right you know you don't deserve to be an option you don't deserve to get half ass effort Drop your signs in the chat, you guys. We're about to move on to the next sign. Um, let's move on. Or, sorry, I'm going to get some oracle card for you, Leo. <coughs> we 
have house six energy it says establishing a foundation this is virgo energy establishing a foundation health daily life and practical details so these are things that you are focusing on right right now focusing on right now or that's the advice all right and then we have angel of abundance we love her a steady flow of abundance is about to manifest yes thank you all right Double tap that screen for me, you guys. We're going to do Libra. Libra at 1604. Libra. Let's see what you need to know right now, Libra. Insight, clarity, and guidance into libra's life all right we have the nine of pentacles reversed crowning your reading let's see tell me about libra empress reversed four of cups reversed Three of Pentacles reversed. And then the Sun as your shadow card. <sighs> okay. Well, everything is working out for you. That is a affirmation that you can say for yourself. It is true. It is true. So affirm it. Everything is working out for you. Um, hmm. It may be getting out of a relationship. You may be getting out of a relationship, but let's see. Let's clarify this. Nine of Pentacles. Reversed. Three of Pentacles. Interesting. We have the Nine of Pentacles reversed, clarified by the Three of Pentacles upright. We also have the Three of Pentacles reversed over here. So if one person won't another person will all right don't settle whatever you want is valid um so if you're being asked to get down loki get down if you're being asked to leave a relationship you know it's probably because it's not serving you right Ooh, i the emperor reverse just flipped out and the empress is reversed here so like i said everything is working out for you there's a lot manifesting on the spiritual plane for you right now libra especially in regards to like connections people wanting to work with you this could be in regards to business this could be in regards to a, a relationship or relationships okay so also business i feel like maybe you have been in a bind or really like money has been kind of tight but i do see a new opportunity or opportunities coming towards you here so keep a positive mindset be optimistic and know that your future is bright and only good things are coming towards you i feel like you already need to heal okay you're being asked to heal from limiting beliefs all right you need to create a stronger connection with source with god so that you have the faith and your faith doesn't waver oh ye have little faith okay you need to up your faith up your prayer prayers go up blessings come down okay taking care of yourself is the medicine understanding your feelings understanding your thought processes understanding your boundaries and like i said in the beginning of the reading everything is working out for you and understanding that what does that actually mean 
moving away from people who are you know just not on your level moving away from people who aren't serving you moving away from peewee brains peewee dick like immature energy all right um i i feel like you've been kind of in the same like you may feel like you kind of have tunnel vision like you may have made like it doesn't matter what has happened in the course of however long this timeline you've been in but it's like it's like the same shit you may have moved a bunch of times so it's like the same shit keeps happening but that's not going to be any longer here in the future the one you when do you really start to pour into yourself and understand what self-love means and understand your own worth that's when your life is really going to shine bright like the sun okay and you are going to have a rebirth and it's almost like a, even a rebranding is what i heard rebranding yourself okay a moment of revival 1717 so let's pull an oracle card for you an astrology oracle card astrology oracle card a leo energy here libra taurus energy here we have 33 on the board transform you got the pluto card okay where is pluto in your chart you might want to watch that sign of wherever pluto is in your chart you may have pluto in libra um but you should definitely look at where that placement is in your chart it is about transformation okay so you are trans having a transformation at this time let's pull another card for you we have angel of families the angels surround both you and your family at the moment all right so <clears throat> that is what i have for you libra we'll move on to taurus All right, these readings are moving by faster today. I don't know if it's because I'm feeling a little bit better or if that's just the energy, but it's cool. I'm with it. You're welcome. Taurus. Taurus. Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Knight of Swords. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands as the shadow card reversed. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, the Three of Swords, I don't like the typical way readers usually talk about this card. Alright, so it's not really the right way to talk about this card all right but basically then we have the page of cups here falling out so hmm it's interesting page of cups let's clarify let's clarify let's clarify let's clarify i feel like you're trying to right your wrongs here taurus this could be you or energy around you um, but i feel like you could be trying to right your wrongs here 
trying to communicate better, trying to move in a better way. Alright. Wheel of Fortune reversed, clarifying the Three of Swords. So you may have gone through some sort of karma that is, you know, initiating you to move in a better way is what I'm seeing here. I feel like you have, you're currently seeing things from all sides, from all perspectives. And, you know, you realize where you went wrong. And like I said, you're trying to move in a better way now. You're getting information. You're getting more intelligent. You're gaining intelligence. I'm definitely seeing here you're like wanting to move in a different direction. It's like you're wanting to move in a different way. Nine of Cups reverse, Ten of Cups reverse. That's very interesting. I feel like you're, like I said, you're trying to move in a different direction. Um, maybe you're, you're in a relationship right now that maybe you're realizing that you shouldn't have gotten in. Or maybe you're even realizing, you know, the thought processes behind your own decision making. Really having self-mastery here and wanting to move differently and get into a better space. So, it's really what I'm seeing here. I feel like it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to go wherever you're trying to go I'm not saying that it can't be done but there's definitely a lot going on there's definitely going to be a lot of different experiences that you're going to be having on your journey forward that it's not necessarily anything that you can prevent from happening it's just cause and effect so keep that in mind, Taurus. Uh, I hope this is resonating. We've got Scorpio energy here, fixed energy, and Cancer energy. We have House One, individuality, self-image, and approach to life. That's what I'm saying. You're changing like your approach to life, or at least you're wanting to, and really stepping into your indiv individuality here, and you know, changing your self-image. Is what I'm seeing, or wanting to. Excuse me. We have goddess of sacred power. You are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. Yes, I feel like this is the energy. You know, only you're you're the only one that can, you know, change anything. You're the controller, you're the manifest manifester, you're the creator of your life. So that's what I have for you, um, Taurus. Drop your sign in the chat, you guys, so we can move on to the next sign. Actually, we're going to take a little break here and probably restart the live because there's no one really on here. this is good for all placements okay so 
let's see what do you need to know right now cancer the seven of wands is crowning your reading today the seven of wands all right the seven of wands is about consistency is about blocking off bullshit and haters we have the page of cups you may need to like really like i'm seeing like filter out people love interest you know like maybe you have a lot of suitors at this time but you're really needing to direct your energy to yourself or to whatever is serving you yes that is what i'm seeing okay capricorn energy here Ooh. page of swords reverse kind of flipping out here yeah uh, yep i said it i hit the head on the nail <laughs> i hit the head on the nail so you know uh, you need to listen to yourself don't listen to others don't get influenced by others do not fall into temptation at this time you're needing to say no no is a full sentence let's clarify these cards let's clarify these cards oh my gosh the seven of wands is clarifying the seven of wands okay well it is in reverse seven of wands reverse but that's literally just clarifying what i've just already been saying all the cards are just clarifying what i already said <clears throat> uh sorry if that was like really loud <laughs> just not looking really good all right well i apologize it's not looking good for whoever you're dealing with it's not looking good for whoever you're dealing with i feel like you're being you know called to level up you're ascending you're trying to live your best life you're trying to live as your highest self and whoever you're dealing with they can't come with you at this time you have to make the executive decision to move on even though if even if this is a soulmate you know, even if this is a soulmate or whatever type of connection this is, that's not really what this reading is really about. This reading is not trying to figure out what the connection is. You can do that for yourself. If you want to book a personal reading with me, then you can do that. But what I'm seeing here is you're needing to move on. No matter who this is or no matter how you feel about this person, you have to take back the energy for yourself. You have to manifest moving forward into the future and not manifest the same old bullshit respectfully gemini energy here strong gemini energy virgo energy why because you guys are operating on a low vibration and you're not moving anywhere there's no headway here so we have house 11 friends like-minded groups and humanitarian beliefs aquarius energy so you could be you know needing to maybe hang out more with your friends or you know maybe like go out meet new people uh surround yourself with like-minded people double tap the screen you guys and drop your sign in the chat we have angel of guidance a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest yes it will because you're a truth seeker you're seeking the truth and you're going to have an understanding of how to transmute the past and you're going to have an understanding of the connection that you find yourself in okay pray and connect to source you have all the answers you are able to get all the answers that you are needing or seeking all right so that's what i have for you cancer <coughs> drop your sign in the chat double tap the screen
double tap the screen for me you guys All right, we're gonna do Virgo. Virgo, let's see what you need to know right now. Insight, clarity, and guidance for you. We have the strength card. The strength card is so underrated. You are very strong. You are powerful. You are powerful. Who's more stronger than this person right here? what card is more stronger what energy is more stronger than the strength card itself whatever you're experiencing right now you are able to move through it okay you are able there is a way if there's a will there's a way all right um have confidence in yourself know that you're strong people probably stare at you because you're you look good people may be a little bit afraid of you because they see your potential leo energy oh my gosh then we have the sun seven of wands reversed page of cups reversed king of swords reversed hmm hmm trust yourself over what others say because i am seeing someone may not being may not be being honest with you okay a man air sign um three of pentacles reverse someone you know you may be in a third party situation here no bueno no bueno so this if you're in a third party they can't really give you that much they're already not really giving you that much so it's like you already need to really take your power back take your energy back don't give this person that much of your energy right i'm saying you're trying to go with the flow with this situation you know i do feel like for the most part you do have your head on your shoulders but you need this confirmation you need this advice you need this message okay you are the sun you're shining bright right now everyone is attracted to you everyone wants you everyone would want to be around your energy this is a rebirth oh shoot the way i flipped this up the hierophant okay taurus energy here wow the hierophant to the strength card well that is powerful the hierophant to the strength card so things are coming together for you but it's like taking a lot of energy and it's taking a lot of strength for you to move through this energy um it's like the universe is really making you work for it uh ace of wands eight of cups four of cups reversed ace of wands eight of cups four of cups reversed an unattachment energy here unattaching from sexual desires or sexual like impulses and really understanding your sexuality understanding your essence understanding your primal desires Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. So strong Leo energy here. The star card reverse clarifying the sun. Don't dim your light to make other people shine. Don't worry about what other people have to say about it. Okay. I, as long as you're being authentic, you're going to be at the right place at the right time and everything is going to be working out for you you don't have to worry about that interesting we have the page of cups coming out twice here one is in reversed one is in upright once um as you <clears throat> as you take back your energy as you step into your power that's going to trigger the right people to come into your life that's going to trigger maybe this person that you're already dealing with to act right because there is an imbalance here with how whoever you're dealing with is acting okay or maybe this is also an imbalance with how you're acting and how you're entertaining relationships right so you just have to focus on yourself and you know people will the 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 scales will balance for you the tables will turn for you it's not really worrying about how but just worrying about you period okay um 
four of wands clarifying this king of swords reversed i'm telling you it's going to come together for you despite a lack of security or a lack of communication a lack of integrity at this time if you stay true to you other people and <clears throat> other people will get triggered to do the same the energetics will balance out the skills will balance we have cancer energy coming out nurture comfort and protection okay so what's going to make you comfortable this is really about the home some of you guys may be moving or wanting to move and that's the energy you, you're able to do that so focus on that focus on nurturing yourself focus on protecting your energy and making yourself comfortable <clears throat> yeah the four of wands here there may be difficulties maybe in regards to moving or some legalities but i do see things working out for you so be confident be optimistic just see it working out in your mind's eye see it working out see it working out and it is going to work out despite all odds ooh, ooh, ooh. card fell Ugh. we have angel of guidance a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest and we have angel of support on the back of the deck the universe has heard your silent call for help <coughs> excuse me okay be strong virgo you're able you're strong you don't i'm going to read this card i read it to myself but i didn't read it to you guys the goddess of strength and we have this strength card here stand up for what you believe you will gain respect by holding your ground okay drop your sign in the chat we're going to move on to the next sign also virgo you have aquarius energy here if i didn't say that Sagittarius energy here as well. It's about having an open mind, luck being, luck being on your side, but tapping into that energy though. You have to get on that frequency of luck, all right, of being positive, of talking yourself up. Drop your sign in the chat, you guys. This is good for all placements. Drop your sign in the chat so we can move on to the next sign like the live for me double tap the screen drop your sign in the chat i'm obviously not doing questions um i already did leo and taurus this will be uploaded on my youtube so go check that out um the link is in my bio uh who did i say aquarius oh aries let's do aries Um, forty-four thirteen. All right, Aries. Let's see what's going on with you. Double tap the screen for me, you guys. Like the live. Let's get that energy exchange, okay? Aries, four of wands, five of swords. honestly i'm gonna tell y'all right now if y'all are in the live and y'all aren't like y'all are just not just not liking the live not putting good energy it's probably not gonna resonate with you it's probably not gonna resonate with you i'm on youtube this is like mainly for my channel i'm on live for like exposure to get 
more people more clientele but like if y'all aren't liking the life it's probably not gonna resonate with you so <clears throat> same same for youtube if y'all are watching my videos so y'all don't like the video probably not gonna resonate with you aries uh, aries four of wands crowning your reading I'm actually pissed off. I'm sorry if you're on my YouTube freaking like being on live, reading on live is like a different type of energy and they just piss me off. Cause they're just like dry watching. Like, please like the fucking video. Not that difficult. Um Four of Wands crowning your reading. But then we have the Five of Swords, the Moon Reverse, Six of Pentacles Reverse, Page of Cups Reverse. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is going on here? So we're going to clarify. Eight of Swords Reversed. Hmm. So you may be, like, seeing a situation for what you want it to be instead of what it really is. And this could definitely be leading to your downfall okay this could be leading to some unexpected or unfortunate events um you could be having a falling out with someone you could have been entertaining a relationship just for clout or like just for them to like feed your ego so I feel like you are having an understanding and awakening right now of, of how you're spending your time and where your energy is going and what all this really means. All right, releasing yourself from half-ass effort, releasing yourself from, um, what is it called? Releasing yourself from you know unreciprocity <laughs> that's what's called like there was no reciprocity in this relationship and you're releasing yourself from that right you giving too much and not receiving so this is going to allow the right connection to come into your life i promise you it is and you're going to receive these downloads on your own so you're going to be getting downloads insight and signs that are confirming what i'm saying but also confirming what you're going through and what you feel we have capricorn here it's about ambition realism and methodical steps okay you could have capricorn in your chart or this is the energy that you're needing to tap into at this time we also have leo on the back of the deck which is about self-confidence loyalty and creativity so other energy that you need to tap into at this time, Capricorn and Leo energy, you can have those signs in your chart. This is for Aries right now, you guys. Drop your sign in the chat and we're going to move on to the next sign here in a second. We have Angel of Union. A partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. There's already like everything is already written but there's already a soulmate in your energy in your future that is coming out in your reading wow there's ten of cups under that four of pentacles under that you can't see them right now but maybe you can feel them all right um so it is on the way for you something that you may cannot see right now but this person is on the way for you but you have to you know move accordingly right you have to release so that you can receive <coughs> strong
strong soul tie in your future Aries Scorpio energy here Cancer Pisces energy here drop your sign in the chat let's move on to the next sign double tap the screen like the live you guys I already did Virgo. This will be uploaded on my YouTube, so you can go check it out there. I already did Leo. This is good for all placements, though, so, you know, you should watch the sign. You should watch whatever placement you're most resonating with at this time. gonna pick the sign then let's see let's do capricorn i ain't got time to be waiting for y'all all right capricorn let's see what's going on with you capricorn placements Capricorn placements. Tell me about Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know right now at this moment? We have the Ten of Wands. I actually really like this coming out for your reading because it's telling me that your hard work is paying off. It's not over. You need to keep going. This is not the time to let up. This is really not the time to let up. You are going to receive a blessing um you're being asked to you may have to do things by yourself right now that's why things can feel kind of harsh but you might be kind of being a crybaby about it because you don't want to do this by yourself you want help but that's not what is being asked of you right now so that's what i'm seeing all right um, so we have 10 10 here on the board let's see Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands. It's like not everyone can be in your energy at this time. And it, it's it's not really like it's not really what you think it is. You may be like be getting offended of, of how things are playing out in your life right now, but you know, God is always looking out for your best interest. God always has your best interest, even when you don't see it, even when you may have an attitude with God, He's really always working out. For you and looking out for you and this is making me like want to cry we have the emperor here you really are going to boss up despite a separation you may be going through right now despite a breakup you may be experiencing you are going to find the silver lining soon maybe not as soon as you want because i am getting like a struggle like you are kind of having maybe more of a resistance or more of like an attitude just you know that's your energy right now but once you start to really not um not let your guard down but have more compassion have more of an understanding because the emperor is very connected to god how do you think the emperor has all the things that he has how do you think the queen of pentacles is so sustainable and rich and beautiful and abundant how do you think do you think it's because of their ego definitely not so this reading is for capricorn right capricorn i feel like you guys do have and can have an ego problem so you maybe need to go through an ego death okay take some shrooms and just vibe um obviously you don't have to do that but you need to do something in order for you to get this chip off your shoulder it's like you're not in you're not really in control here yes you are the creator of your life but there is god is governing everything so you have to keep god first and if you don't then you're not going to be receiving you're going to stay stuck all right 
So let's clarify a little bit more. We have Aries, Gemini energy here, fixed energy, an imbalance here. Like I said, there is a silver lining. There is a beautiful gift. You're being gifted, you know, there's a golden opportunity that you're like being offered right now, a new timeline that you, that the universe has. The universe literally has their hand out to you. I feel like you're having like a, a fit. You're having an attitude problem. Um, but that needs to change. That needs to change. So you, the universe is definitely giving you grace at this time. So <coughs> don't resist. Don't have your back towards, you know, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Be open to receive and giving is receiving understand giving and receiving this is not a life of earning and deserving it is a game of giving and receiving that is a million dollar advice sagittarius energy here drop your sign in the chat you guys um so we can move on to the next sign Make sure you guys like the live, double tap the screen. We have goddess of psychic protection. What you believe you create, no one can harm you. And I'm gonna pull one more. Angel of joyfulness, something wondrous and magical is about to happen. I feel like you need to get onto this frequency though. You need to get onto the joyful frequency. What does that mean? get on to the 444 frequency of protection what does being protected mean what does being the creator mean what does all of this mean pisces energy coming out this is, i mentioned compassion right you need to have more because there's not really any cups ah, i'm screaming i'm screaming right now there's like no cups in your reading there's actually none zinc nunca there's no no cups in your reading so you really need to like where's your heart at capricorn do you have a heart i know you have one intimacy intuition and compassion okay don't let your past interrupt your present or your future okay everyone wants love it's the highest frequency of the of the universe of the world so you know there's that and then we have water as well so you definitely need to balance out your emotions tap more into your intuition and connect more to your feelings all right so where is do you have water in your chart maybe you need to look where water is in your chart we have spirituality emotion intuition and compassion here again twice that's what the water energy is about connecting more to your spirituality all right connecting more to spirit self-realization getting to know yourself moving through your emotions understanding your emotions connecting to your intuition and like i mentioned before having more compassion or having compassion all right top tier self-care here ace of cups energy so that's the advice what are you passionate about what are you passionate about capricorn all right a double tap the screen oh you guys double tap the screen let's get to 2000 likes I'm not going to continue until we get to 2,000 likes. All right, so you're coming out here in reverse. So there's an imbalance here within, within yourself. 
usually when i read this card like for other people i always say this is like you could have a nervous system imbalance so that could resonate with you but mainly in general i'm just seeing you know your energy is not in the upright you're upside down so you could be feeling you know out of whack out of alignment here yup 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 yep do not fold on yourself for a man that's what we're not going to do that's what we're not going to do honey we're not going to get our panties into a wad because of a man we're not going to be crying upset hurting ourselves having bad mental health having bad physical health just like no 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 for a man i don't care how good they look okay it's not cute it's not cute <laughs> how you're acting isn't cute so mm. how you're dealing with romantically they gotta go they gotta go honey i don't know what to tell you i don't know what else to tell you i'm sorry sorry not sorry you heard it here you heard it here first listen when i was in when i was entertaining people that i shouldn't have been i wish someone would have told me you know what girl why are you doing this like i wish someone would have shaken me until i would have understood that would have saved me a lot of a lot of time and hurt and pain and ugliness when you're dealing with someone who's ugly that makes you look ugly so why do you have a lack of confidence why is your life not moving in the direction you want it to move well there's an imbalance here i already said that in the beginning of the read there's an imbalance why is there an imbalance <clears throat> because you're entertaining people you shouldn't be because you're crossing your own boundaries you're entertaining things that are over there's nothing there there's nothing uh, there is nothing there why are you trying to look why are you trying to seek outside validation nope no one can love themselves no one can love the queen of cups the way the queen of cups loves the queen of cups do you understand do you get that no one can love you like you love yourself and the way that you love yourself shows other people how to love you you may have heard that before but you're not doing it and if you were doing it you wouldn't be in this situation I'm sorry, I cannot sugarcoat this for you. I cannot. Are you not going to listen? You're not going to listen. And you know what? The person that you're dealing with, you guys could have shared some good times together, some good memories, but it's over. It's cool. You don't have to like, it doesn't have to be boohoo, poor me. Why is this over? Now I'm going to go be in heartbreak and suffer. No, it doesn't have to be like that. You could hold this person in high regard. I spent this time with this person you know in in a in my past an old version of me was happy with this person cool i learned these lessons now let's move on because it's it's like the the contract is over the time that you spend with this person is over there's nothing else here okay you have to understand that you've grown there's more to see there's more to do you know there's more people to meet and this person that you're dealing with once you they know that your potential is grand they know that you have a lot of potential and it's really eating them up inside i feel like that's a big reason why they're treating you the way that they are right now i'm seeing they have their back turned towards you and they could definitely be entertaining other people which is valid because you don't you guys don't really have any business with each other anyway to be honest all right at least not right now you need to understand that this is the energy for right now energy always changing the only constant is change but i don't you know i don't really see this person as of any importance as of right now so you know your life better than i do but for what i'm seeing right now this is what i'm getting so transformation there's a transformation taking place and that needs to take place All right, drop your sign in the chat, you guys. Drop your sign in the chat. Double tap the screen. 
this could have been a soulmate of yours but like i said this contract is over this time spent that you guys used to spend with each other is over you're needing to move on a transformation is needing to happen angel of communication communi excuse me communicate clearly don't be afraid to tell it like it is period and we have angel of support the universe has heard your silent call for help drop your signs in the chat you guys these readings are good for all signs so let's get it gemini virgo energy here for you um who's this for sag oh sag Drop your sign in the chat. Double tap the screen. If you miss your sign, this will be uploaded on my YouTube. So go check that out. The link is in my bio. Thank you. Thank you. Level up, girl. Level up. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's save Pisces till the end. No one wants to deal with their mess. <laughs> Who do I need to do? Gemini. Gemini. I already did Aries. All right, Gemini. This is going to be for my Gemini's. I, I just did Sag. <coughs> Gemini. We have the Queen of Cups coming out for you, Gemini. Also the Queen of Swords. So Sagittarius got these same cards, but they were in the reverse. So you may have Sag in your chart. Um... I don't know if I want to take these or not. Mm, I don't know. Queen of Cups crowning your reading is talking about emotional intelligence and then the Queen of Swords is your energy. You know, you're not really playing around. You're 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 not the one to play with. You know what you want. You know what you don't want. Mm, so you know, people need to come correct um i feel like you can you're able to manifest what you want with your energy with this energy Ooh, the star card Ooh, the hermit and then we have the king of cups reverse nice well not really nice but i said that because there was a there's a perfect pair here but i'm gonna say this is you the queen of cups is you and then we have the king of cups here in reverse so perfect pair but your person is in reverse so the someone that could be in your energy you know your person could definitely be you know they could lack emotional intelligence i said you have the emotional intelligence and the person that you're dealing with could lack emotional intelligence so not really on your level but you do feel a strong connection with them despite their shortcomings I feel like you are seeing someone for their potential and maybe overlooking some things right now. Mm, maybe. Maybe in the past. But I feel like you've bossed up here. And you, like I said, you know what you want and they need to come correct. They need to come correct. So I'm seeing your energy is very guarded right now. Not in a bad way. But it's like you're clad in armor. Emperor energy. Like I said, people have to come correct. Um, this is abundant energy, Aquarius. You're on the right path. Aquarius energy, Virgo energy, the star card. I meant to say you're on the right path. Okay, you have a vision, you know where you're wanting to go. Um, you have a vision here, so hold your vision. The hermit card is talking about birthing a new, a new version of yourself here in the future. So you're leveling up. 
you're leveling up six of cups yep this is this is a soulmate here and your energy give them you know an attack like if you're not really talking to them right now if you're giving them their space that's the right thing to do because what the fuck are people doing outside so annoying um you're definitely bossing up you're definitely leveling up i feel like you could be you know turning into an empress here moving to empress status but as i was saying before i got rudely interrupted by people outside um as i was saying what was i saying you taking time for yourself taking back your energy is going to trigger them to act right i don't think that's what i was going to say but i'm sorry i got distracted let's clarify these cards Let's see what flipped out here. Ooh, the sun! The sun clarifying you, the queen of cups, shine bright. Your intuition and your emotions really lead the way for you. I feel like your intuition guides you to new ideas. You know, you, you get psychic downloads. This is like upgrades from the sun. So if you've been tanning or taking sun baths, this is really helpful for you. Or this is advice to do that. And this is more of, you know, twin flame energy, soulmate energy. I already said you do have a soulmate in your energy, but you're needing to allow them to grow at their own rate. All right, so give them space. Don't, don't don't entertain this person so now the advice is to not entertain this person because that's going to be like feeding their ego and that's not what we want to do right now if anything you need your ego fed you need to be the star of the show right now you are the star so <coughs> confirmation that yes the person on your mind it could be a water sign is your soulmate but that doesn't mean that you need to like put them on a pedestal or be at their beck and call when they are not when they're not in alignment and when they're not acting correctly so that's what i'm seeing here so let's pull some oracle cards for you we have leo energy coming out mars move forward and defend self that's the energy um where is mars in your chart we have angel of relaxation let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want i love that angel card let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want okay so that's what i have for you Sag. No, that was for Gemini. Fuck, I didn't put Gemini's timestamp, so I'll have to get that. Damn it, I almost had everyone's timestamp. I always have to fuck something up. <sighs> Girl. So let's do Aquarius. All right, let me not forget to put Aquarius is now. Let me not fuck up the whole one. 114, 12. All right, Aquarius, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius, tell me about Aquarius placements, what does Aquarius need to know right now, insight, clarity, and guidance for Aquarius, the tower, Scorpio energy, all right so the tower is about life experience kind of something major happening at least major to you okay i'm hearing like 
or like a nerve like something could be triggering you at this time ace of cups a love lost so something could have really made you upset emotionally nope someone could have really broke your heart here ace of swords reverse but this hmm whatever you're experiencing like there's a lack of integrity here there's a lack of truth i don't really think this was supposed to happen i do see you coming out on top or maybe whoever you're dealing with like they might come around and apologize <coughs> so let's clarify could be dealing with a water sign Scorpio we do have that on the board so let's see let's clarify four swords reversed oh the world judgment interesting he may be blocked right now there may have been a completion of a cycle here but that's not to say a new cycle isn't going to start seen her in a minute the queen of wands the queen of wands to the tower so whatever you're experiencing right now like i said you are definitely going to come out on top you're gaining your vitality back you're gaining your shakti your life force you're gaining more intuition you're gaining more of a power presence okay you're gaining your confidence yes all right, if someone tried to play with you, mm, uno reverse, you actually bossed up. So, justice reverse. Like I said, whatever happened, uh, it, there's a strong imbalance here. I don't really feel like it was supposed to happen. This definitely created an imbalance in your life. This created karmic debt for somebody possibly both parties um let's see you can always write your wrongs high priestess pisces energy coming out here all right so like i i said i do feel like whoever you're dealing with could be coming back around to apologize and make things right but are you going to take them back are you going to take them back i don't know you may be too pissed off. You may be too in your bag. <laughs> you may be too focused on yourself, on your life mission, on your career, on your accomplishments, you know, getting structured and disciplined, house 10 energy. Then we have Leo energy. It's about self-confidence, loyalty, and creativity. Someone's disloyalty and dishonesty may have really gave you the ick. And so you could just be you know, flying high now. Um, you could have Leo in your chart. <coughs> Excuse me. Angel of Abundance coming out. A steady flow of abundance is about to manifest. Goddess of psychic protection. What you believe you create, no one can harm you. Goddess of oneness, someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. And angel of vision, someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust yourself, or sorry, trust your feelings over what others say. Someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. All right, that's what I have for you. Uh, Aquarius I think that was for Aquarius ah oh, not my phone falling fuck
20.07. All right, Pisces. Last but not least, a Pisces. Let's see what y'all crazy ass got going on. I hope it's a good one. I hope y'all don't give me a headache. Let's see, Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. What does Pisces need to know right now at this moment? Tell me about Pisces. What does Pisces need to know right now at this moment? Tell me about Pisces placements. Tell me about Pisces placements. What does Pisces need to know right now at this moment? Pisces North Node. Okay. Tell me about Pisces. Which is Pisces need to know right now at this moment. Ooh, we have the Empress uh, crowning your reading. This is very abundant, very fruitful energy. Interesting. Then we have the High Priestess reverse. That's you. You need to have faith in your vision. You need to have faith in yourself. You need to have confidence in yourself. This is about talk to yourself care. Talk to yourself care. Releasing limiting beliefs. Releasing lack mentality. Okay, there could be a pregnancy here. Whether it's an actual pregnancy. Or whether this is you birthing something. And bringing something to life. Okay. This is. There's like a lot of feminine energy here. There is some masculine energy with the sun. So you could be needing to balance and master your masculine energy within you um so balancing your masculine and feminine energies at this time <coughs> excuse me all right so let's see libra taurus your energy is here leo energy is here we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Empress card. So it seems here that you've really been working on something here. You've been working on yourself. You've been working on your craft. And that's going to pay off. And without a shadow of a doubt, it's going to pay off. But do you have that same confidence and faith and belief? That's the advice. That's the energy. King of Cups. Uh. Oof. You could have, you could be dealing with another Pisces or a water sign. Um, if not, they're just showing up as water because they have a lot of emotions for you. There's someone here that has a lot of love for you. They're in love with you. But I don't think they communicate this. I don't think they communicate with this. I think they definitely hide their feelings. Um, you could really not have any idea how much this person feels about you for sure. And, you know, this is creating stress. This could be creating stress for you. And I feel like it's definitely creating stress for this other person because there's a lack of authenticity, right? If you feel a certain type of way, like express yourself. There's a lack of perfect self-expression here. And because this might be a soulmate or, you know, someone that's very important into your life, it could be, you know, that energy could be leaking into your energy, causing stress is what I'm seeing. So if that's the case, that advice here is to take care of yourself. Maybe kind of cliche, but it's not. If you really do the work, you would know how important it is. Taking care of yourself is not a 24 hour thing. It's not a weekly thing. It is an every day, you're going to have to do it for the rest of your life type of thing. Top tier self-care. Not just basic, simple shit. Top tier self-care. What does that mean? You most likely have Libra and Taurus placements. Pisces is exalted in Venus. So you know, like, you already know what it is. You already know what it is. Take yourself out. Do nice things for yourself. And continue to do these things for yourself. Because that's going to create... A protective energy around you so you're not going to be able to get any of these energy leaks or leeches all right um make sure that you're also 
expressing yourself perfectly what does that look like what does that mean what does that feel like what does that sound like perfect self-expression what is the highest version of yourself doing what is the rich version of yourself doing virgo energy so i'm gonna pull oh venus coming out yes sir and then we have house three coming out as oh not my phone trying to fall again we got the venus oracle card this is about giving and receiving love finding value and seeing beauty and so much more venus is just so much pearls pearls could be significant for you house three energy gemini energy is about early learning childhood relations the rational mind and communication whenever i pull this card i always say this is like uh having an under an blah having an understanding of like how you grew up in your adolescence and how that has shaped you into the person you are today and how maybe you could be needing to make adjustments or have acceptance and yada yada so kind of like a full circle moment here i feel like you could be having a lot of revelations a lot of memories and remembrance a lot of understanding self-realization okay an awakening let's get an angel oracle card for you angel of relaxation let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want and we have angel of communication communicate clearly don't be afraid to tell it like it is that's what i have for you pisces let me know if it resonated be sure to like the video and comment down below i will see you guys in the next video love you guys so much